Okay, so now we're gonna use mass analysis to identify and find the mesh current band of this circuit. So what first thing first we're gonna need to do is identify and label mesh current. And then we're gonna write the branch current in terms of mesh current. We work that out, KVL around the loop and solve for the system. So here we go. I'm going to label this one as I1, this one I2, and this one is I3. Remember, three of these need to be in the same way. I'm taking a look at the clockwise. After that, we name this one. as this way oops looks like I forgot the value of two of these resistors 7 ohm and 4 ohm sorry guys now I'm going to work that out okay we have loop 1 which is negative 3i1 oh I forgot to label this one I'm doing it now this one is 30 i1 negative i2 and this one is 12 i2 negative i3 the reason behind this is one current is flowing down and one current is flowing up all right negative 30 i1 negative i2 subtract to 7 ohms plus 1 is equal to 0 all right i'm gonna work that loop out so we have um so i have this this and this oh I forgot to do that I'm sorry is equal to 40 I'm just gonna write down 40 okay plus 30 I2 is equal to negative 1 my second loop I'm gonna start from this charge. Yeah. My second loop now going to be 30 I1 I2 3 I2 12 I2 I3 is equal. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait negative 4 i2 is equal to 0 and we solve this out so what we have is 30 i1 negative 249 i2 plus 12 i3 is equal to 0 my loop 3 is 12 i2 i3 negative 24 i3 that should give me 0 i1 plus 12 i2 and negative 36 i3 i'm going to use simultaneous equation for this one So I'm gonna write that down like this.
that's the other way you guys can do it which is RRDF on MATLAB or graphic calculator but for me I'm just going to use simultaneous equations on any kind of scientific calculator it's going to be much more easy and the value I get for I1 I2 and I3 is 0 0.05 0 0.033 and finally 0 0.011 okay so that's how you guys solve the mesh current I hope you guys can understand and see you guys in the next videos.